Up front next, breaking news. Donald Trump and Hillary Bush erupts over 9-11. Plus campaign spending reporting it on McDonald's. And more breaking news on NBA star Lamar Odom's condition. And good Friday evening to all. We'll be checking back in with MJ uh, as Donald Trump takes that stage. Expect to see Clinton continued in the days ahead. Yeah. All right, Sunland, thank you very much. Uh, and we are as a controversy. I want to start there. It actually wasn't between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. It was between Donald Trump and Jeb Bush. Trump saying George W. Bush was president during 9/11. It was. It was. You know. It's it, the way he phrased it. You have to use the word implying. Uh, but he was saying George W. Bush was responsible. Andy, that's epically courageous. What he did. Okay, well, you're not you know, making any sense right now. The point is this, is that Bill Clinton was the one who back in 1998 had a chance to kill Osama bin Laden and didn't do it. So if asked between G.W. Bush... All of you, uh, please stay with me. Uh, we're going to squeeze in a brief commercial in her exclusive interview with CNN tonight saying it's time for Joe Biden to put up or stay out. We'll be right back. I want to play it, make sure everyone can hear it for themselves. The question that had been asked sure. Donald Trump was uh, how he would lead during a crisis, uh, a crisis uh, the likes of which Barack Obama and uh, George W. Bush had gone through. That was the question, and here's how Donald Trump answered it. Opportunity when the... Say controversial things sometimes by not actually directly saying them, right? With the Muslim questioner, it, it was that he chose not to correct. And maybe he didn't hear the question, but then you have something like this, right? It is something that's happened as a leader and how, how important it is to lead the country. <sighs> what he does is go to his familiar place, which is go just snark about somebody else and put somebody else down. And, you know, this case is particularly hot button because it's 9-11 and a lot of strong feelings and a lot of you know, terrible things happen. But but I think it's very emblematic of what Trump does, which is well, Hillary, he doesn't look, take the, the, the opportunity people, to be a leader. He he just he's the schoolyard kid who says na 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 na. There's there's this particular quote, but the broader point here is that the perception among voters is that he says it like it is. Uh, it is others, whether it be the media. Oh. You're listening to Donald hey, Trump back. here. We're going to keep monitoring this. Uh, look, what you, you've heard. Oh. Angry at rivals uh, using their first names when he talks about uh, Hillary. We're going to keep monitoring this, and we're going to take a break when we come back. More of Donald Trump and what he spent money. If you're looking at Donald Trump live. He's addressed a crowd at an elementary school in Massachusetts. Uh, he's been talking about his polls, talking about his rivals. We're monitoring it. We're going to bring you in live as we hear parts you should hear. The GOP frontrunner has sworn off a traditional campaign in every since Ford, Reagan, and Carter, along with Ron Brownstein, editorial director for the National Journal. Ron, you know, in this, what you see is just the con continued uh, lack of convention with the, the Trump campaign, right? But what's interesting here is that he got all this money from other people, and he's still spending it, right? He puts in his own money as he has to. He spends the unsolicited donations first. That's uh, what a business person would do. That's what he's doing. Um, but we're finding a lot of things out here. $700,000 on T-shirts and hats, uh, nearly a million on flights, and, of course, that McDonald's tab. All right, there, there are so many... So unconventional things happening in this game. You know, David, and one, another thing Donald Trump is not doing with his money, not spending it on polls. Contrast that with Hillary Clinton, right? He likes to make that contrast all the time uh, in general. But on this issue specifically, she spent $1.1 million when we went through since the beginning of the campaign last quarter and this quarter. Donald Trump hasn't spent a dollar. That adds to the uh, perception, right, that he is genuine, says what he thinks, does what he thinks, right, where she is spending more than a million dollars on polls to find out what people want her to say and do. Yeah, well, one of the most interesting moments of the campaign was when Donald Trump, and she's raising money uh, uh, rapidly, and after this debate this week, she'll raise a lot more money. I don't think she's in danger the way Jeb Bush is. But nonetheless, when she runs this many polls, it, it does run the danger. Uh, that she'll be seen as highly scripted, highly produced, highly manufactured, as mm. opposed to sort of the lone warrior of, of a Trump. All right. Thanks very much to both of you. And next, we have shocking new video. Yes, tonight, Marty McFly special sneakers for justice after an officer shot and killed a teen during a routine. All right, Gene, thank you very much. I want to go straight to our legal analyst, Paul Callan. Okay, Paul. It, obviously, the officer was, was injured. There's no question about that. But it's a teenager. Kid was clearly unarmed. Maybe he proper way. When he asks for the license, uh, there's a refusal. He has the uh, justifiable. The police will say. Hi, Gene. Thank you very much. I want to go straight to our legal analyst, Paul Cowan. Okay, Paul. Obviously, the officer was was injured. There's no question about. It. 
justifiable, the police will say. Says he attacked me, he jumped me, he tried to take my weapon. The Next, an idea that's coming back from the future. Our back to the future is one of the most. Wow, we can be even lazier. Thank you so much for joining us. Anderson starts next.